Evening guys, uh, tonight I've got a bit of a first for the channel, I've got a new bike video to show you. Uh, welcome to this, the Genesis Equilibrium 20, that's my new endurance forward slash Audax machine. have been using the tarmac up to now, however due to the race geometry it's not quite suitable for the longer days in the saddle or the multi days that I've got planned for later in the year. I um, was advised to go either titanium or steel. Decided to go steel in the end due to the enhanced ride quality and also the cost difference. Uh, basically you get more bang for your buck with a steel frame. Um, after getting a little bit frustrated online, <coughs> looking at different models, different brands, different spec lists, going round and round in circles, I settled on the two models from Genesis that I was interested in, which was the Equilibrium 20 and the Genesis Crux de Fer. <coughs> Now the Crocs de Fer is a more touring orientated bike, uh, slightly heavier and slightly slacker, runs bigger tyres and disc brakes, um, so I decided to go for this one in the end which is slightly lighter build at 9.4 kilos which isn't miles away from my specialised delay, <coughs> so I'm more familiar with the weight of it, uh, didn't really need the fat tyres for our DAX and the disc brakes, I think rim brakes are more reliable. Moving on, <coughs> um, I'm a fan of disc brakes, I think they're great for wet weather riding, certainly not a hater of the disc brake, but I think rim brakes are going to be more reliable, more field serviceable if I do have an issue, it can be fixed better at the side of the road, um, and also makes for a lighter bike, which is <coughs> what you want if you've got a lot of climbing to do. Right guys, <coughs> I'll move on into the walk around, like I say it's a steel frame bike, Built from Reynolds 725 tubing. Up front we've got a carbon bladed fork coupled to an aluminium steerer. Uh, it runs Shimano 105 5800 compact on the front coupled to a, fifth, a 105 a Shimano 105 1128 cassette on the rear with the 105 short cage derailleur. <coughs> it's 11 speed so it's quite nice for my first taste of 11 speed. Uh, the group set, however, does not extend to the calipers, which we have these no-name own branded calipers on the back and in the rear, sorry, on the rear and on the front even. Uh, they do a reasonable job. <coughs> Genesis Zone finishing kit for the bar tape, 100mm stem up front, seat post, and it came with a generic saddle, which I've swapped out for this Brooks B17. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the saddle, I'll cover that on a later date, on a later video. Uh, <coughs> the wheel set, Jalco rims with no name hubs, front and rear, running Clement Strada LGG 25x700C tyres, front and rear also. <coughs> uh, the wheels look of reasonable quality, uh, cross lace spokes on the front, which is unusual for a Rim brake bike, plenty of spokes in the rear. Looks like it's designed to carry a little bit of weight, do a little bit of graft. Uh, and again, not too heavy. <coughs> we'll see how they get on. Um, I was going to do an unboxing video for this, however, I didn't think it was, I didn't think there was much point, given I wouldn't be able to give too much information. Just be a case of getting it out of the box and showing you. Uh, so decided to get it out, put a couple of weeks onto it couple of hundred miles and then let you know what I thought from there. <coughs> um, basically hasn't all been positive. Had an issue with the headset from straight out the box. <coughs> Setting up the preload on the headset I wasn't able to completely eliminate all the play. Um, I'm a little bit anal about stuff like that. It has to be perfect or it will just annoy me. Uh, so took the, took the stem apart, took the whole spaces out, had a quick look at it. Looked all okay. Threw it back together, <coughs> um, came to adjust it up and had to snug it down a little bit tighter than I'd like. Um, normally all you have to do is snug it down with thick thumb and forefinger, a uh, little bit of pressure, you don't need a lot just to eliminate the play and then obviously torque down your, st your stem bolts. <coughs> had to tighten this one down a little bit more than that, um, not to the point where it was binding the steering but managed to get the play out. However, over the next hundred mile, that has returned. Um, 
So unfortunately I think it's time for a new headset which is more than annoying on a brand new bike. But it's one of those things. <coughs> uh, another bugbear is a seat pillar. As you can see here, it's a single bolt job which isn't great for micro adjustment. It's on like a, a rack and tooth assembly so if you want to move the up and down of the saddle, so uh, the pitch of the saddle even. Uh, you can only do it by by a tooth if you like, so you have to slacken the bolt off and then you move the saddle and it move, moves in notches rather than a nice smooth arc. Uh, which you can get the position you want but it's a little bit of a faff to do so. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, I may swap that out at a later date for a two bolt job. <coughs> um, the most worrying issue I've had with the bike so far though is uh, I went out on Sunday, put a fair few mile on it, put 80 mile on it, bit of a test ride. Uh, I was riding with a, with a friend and uh, I noticed that I was having to work quite hard to, to stay on his wheel. Um, not, something I, not something I really had to do with him. Uh, it seemed like the bike was sapping a lot of energy, especially on the climbs. Just I just felt flat all day. Uh, <clears throat> now... I'm aware that could be me, however, every time I've taken the bike out since, now whether that's because it's in my mind now, but or whether it's sort of, a, I've convinced myself it's an issue, but every time I've taken the bike out since, it seemed sluggish and slow, checked it over, can't really find an, a reason for it, it could be, could be a lot of things, you know, it could be, it could be simple, as simple as the position on the bike, fore and aft adjustment of the saddle, uh, it could be, could be even be the tyres, I've never had anything to do with these Clement Stradas before, I haven't even heard them. So maybe the tyres are just, you know, big heavy rollers, consuming a lot of energy. Could even be the wheels. <coughs> but there's no, uh, there's no rolling resistance issues with the bearings, they're all free and turning smoothly as they should. Wheels are all true, they're not catching the brakes. Uh, like I previously said, the frame build's not even that heavy, so on paper there shouldn't really be an issue. However, when you're riding the bike, it does feel a little bit sluggish. Um, maybe I'm being a bit foolish. Maybe maybe that's just a characteristic of a steel frame. I'm not sure. I've never had one before. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of playing around, see if I can fix that, <coughs> or at least make it a little bit better. I'm not too worried about you know setting land speed records, but it's just a bit worrying how sluggish it feels uphill. Especially when you've got rides of 30,000 foot plus planned for later in the year. Uh, anyhow, hopefully I'll be able to sort that out. I'll definitely cover it here on YouTube. Uh, either way. Um, this is also new to me. It's a profile aero bar. Clip-on tri bar. Picked up on eBay for a bargain. Uh, never used one of these before. Um, I'm not really... I haven't really thrown it on there for aerodynamic gains. More for just... I'm just after a change in position for basically to cut down on fatigue on my arms and hands and stuff like that on the longer rides. Uh, it might be a little bit more efficient as well on long, uh, long straight roads. Yep, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, future upgrades planned. I can tell you straight away I'm going to be changing the gearing. I'm not sure what way I'm going to go with it yet, but. <coughs> 3428 is not enough for some of the climbs I've got planned late in the year. <coughs> uh, so I'm either going to put a mountain bike chain set on there to lower the gear right down, or I'm going to a 36 tooth cassette on the back. Find uh, have a little think and see which way is going to be the, the wisest choice. Um, I'm going to change the bar tape out. Maybe put some specialised Ruby tape in there with the, with the gel pads to make that a little bit more comfortable. I may even get a stem with a higher angle on it, raise the bar position up a little bit, bit more, make the aero bars a little bit more comfortable also. Uh, I've already upgraded the saddle as you can see. It's possible I'll put 28 tyres on there, 28 mil tyres. Um, I've also got clearance for mudguards. <coughs> that may be an option, um, not something I plan to do in the near future, but it might be an option for, for the future. Uh, right guys, that's it. Any questions, leave them in the comments. 
Um, if you've been, if you've liked the video or it's helped you out in any way, give us a thumbs up. If you found me boring or there's an issue you you haven't liked the video, by all means put it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do in the later videos. Um, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.